Hello and welcome to the Win911 mobile product overview video. In this video, we'll be discussing everything you need to know to get started with Win911 mobile. So let's move on. First off, let's compare the new Win911 mobile app on the left to the old or the original Mobile911. So Mobile911, the original app on the right, that required configuration of IP addresses, putting holes in firewalls for both inbound and outbound, and asking users for their IDs in order to set up the configuration. The new mobile app does not require that because we use Azure for our authentication method. Therefore, these device IDs are not required and it's a lot easier to set up. Okay, here we are inside of the new mobile app. And when you log in, when you open the app, there'll be access to a login or a demo. So if you actually have an account purchased, you can go ahead and log in. But if you just want to do a sales demo for one of your customers, you can click on Use Demo, and this will allow you to run a 15-minute demo of the product. Click OK. And here we are inside of the new app. So as you notice, there's checkboxes or there's exclamation points next to the different alarms. These alarms, if it's a checkbox, it means the alarm has been acknowledged. If there's an exclamation point, it means the alarm is not acknowledged. So let's click on one of these red ones that is active and unacknowledged. So in here, you'll see some alarm details. It tells you all the, the time that the event happened, the quality, uh, the name of the tag, and so on. So say for example I'm an operator or I'm an engineer, I'd like to see more details, this isn't enough for me, I can go ahead and I can customize my own format. If I click on settings and then click on alarm details, these are the options you can turn on and off. As you can see there's a whole bunch of uh, choices here. So let's just click on a couple. So there's no more XSL editing in Win911. The new mobile app is very flexible and it allows you to make changes directly on the fly here. So I selected all those changes and I select done and I go back to my alarms and all these events pop up. So now I have more alarm details. So very flexible for what you like to see for your alarm. The next feature is a chat window. So here I can chat amongst uh, the, our team to say, I got this. So you can say, hey, bring a wrench or turn this valve off. Uh, you can chat what's going on with the alarm. Next, the team thread, so you can see all the users in our system. We're running a demo system here by clicking that demo tab, so that we have all these demo users which are just fake. But I'm user number one, so there's a little eyeball next to me that shows that I've seen this alarm. You can also check to see who has not seen the alarm. So if you're a manager, you can go back and you, you can verify people are actually checking their alarms. If you click on one of the alarms, you can see what time the notification was sent and when that user last viewed it. The next advantage of using Win911 Mobile is the Do Not Disturb feature. Say for example I go on vacation, I can click the Settings tab, and then I go to Do Not Disturb. If I go to Do Not Disturb, I can turn off the notifications. So say for example I come back Monday the 9th, uh, or 16th of September, I'm on Do Not Disturb until 8, 12 a.m. So I go back to that Alarm tab, and now you see the little alarm bell crossed out. So other users in the system, they know that I'm on Do Not Disturb. When I'm on do not disturb mode, this means that the alarms will not be sent as push notifications. Now if I did decide to open up the app, I could still see all those alarms. Now one key notifier for Win911 is the voice notifier. People like to be woken up in the middle of the night. However, considering the fact that you have to pick up the phone, listen to the message, and then acknowledge, it could be a little bit tedious. But we understand people want to be woken up in the middle of the night. As I showed you with the mobile app, you can see all the details of the alarm right in front of you without having to listen to an alarm. But you're thinking, hey, I can't be woken up in the middle of the night. Well, let's take a look at what you can do inside of Win911 Mobile in the sound settings to allow you to be woken up in the middle of the night. Okay, here I am again inside of Win911. Let's click on our settings tab. So if you're in the settings tab, you see the notification sounds. Let's play a couple of those notifications that can definitely wake you up in the middle of the night. So as you see here, we have the siren, the shimmer, so on, all these different uh, notifiers. I prefer the siren. That's definitely something that can wake you up in the middle of the night because I'm having a hard time even talking over it. Smoke detectors are designed to wake you up in the middle of the night. This could wake you up in the middle of the night as well. So Win911 Mobile can provide alternatives for the voice loud notifier that will wake you up in the middle of the night. Now that you've seen how it works, let's talk about security and the overall architecture of Win911 Mobile. 
As I mentioned earlier, Win911 uses Microsoft Azure as its authentication method. So if you're here on the left-hand side, you have your, your site or your plant with your SCADA, and the right-hand side is your mobile user. How this works is you will sign into your account, and you'll get this token from Azure, which we sent to the system. That's a one-time sign-in. Next, over on your, your user side, every, every user will sign in. As they sign in, they'll be given an access token. As alarms go off, they'll be outbound requested out of your system. So the alarms will go out up to the Windows 1 mobile web app, and they'll go down to the user. They'll be verifying this token. I know this is a very brief and high-level explanation of how Win911 Mobile works. However, there are more videos and security document available on our knowledge base, or there are, the links are posted in the bottom of this YouTube video. Another advantage of Win911 Mobile is you can have multiple sites sent to one Microsoft Azure account to go to the same user. So say for example you have plant A and plant B, the water plant, the wastewater plant. You can send all those alarms through the same account. This was not available previously on the old mobile 911 app. Let's go through a couple of those technical frequently asked questions we have for the configuration. So first off, which systems does it support? your Apple, your Android devices, along with Baidu in China. The app is available in the Google Play Store or Apple Store. What versions of Win911 are required? Version 4.19.x or higher, so that X will be the last, last sprint we have. And this is available for a free 30-day trial on win911.com. This app is not available on version 7, and it will not be available. So if you would like to use this new app, you can upgrade from version 7 Pro to Interactive if you are on the technical support plan. Otherwise, contact our sales team for more details. If you'd like more information about system requirements, we recommend going to the Documentation Resources System Requirement link to see what's required for setting up and configuring Win911. Again, these links are available in the bottom of the YouTube video. If I'm currently using the old mobile 911 app, how do I upgrade to the new app? There is not an upgrade path. These are two completely separate apps. There are complete, two completely separate apps in the app stores. Now that this new app is released, will the old mobile app work? Yes, it will cont continue to work, but there's no future development for the original Mobile 911 app. Can I complete a trial of this app? Yes, there's a 30-day trial of just the app available in the Google Play or Apple Store. If you just download the app, you can run a demo just as I did earlier. You don't need any Win911. You can run the demo system and it will connect, send you push notifications and alarms just as the system would if you'd like to demo for your customers. To use the Win911 mobile app, there are additional purchasing requirements. The main one is you'll need to purchase a technical support contract. The app will not work without a technical support contract which means the user will not receive alarms. So let's talk about that technical support contract and how you get it. The technical support contract is 20% of the cost of the software, and yes, you can purchase a multi-year support contract up front. And as a reminder, the mobile app is only available on the interactive or advanced license. How will the user know if the support contract is valid or about to expire? As mentioned earlier, you will not receive alarms if your support contract is not valid. You will receive a contract at time of purchase, or you receive push notifications in the app for the 90, 60, 30, and every day under 10 days. Win911 will also send you support emails and paper mail. So there's plenty of notification between us and your user about the support contract and make sure you're valid. What are the next steps for getting started with Win911? If you'd like more information, we recommend reaching out to our sales team at sales at win911.com or there's a build a quote available to build up a quote for Win911 Mobile. For more technical information for the systems integrators maybe watching, there's configuration videos, part one and two, which walk you through the basic and the advanced setup. These are available in the how-to video section of our website. The best resource for getting started though is really our installation checklist that has everything you need to know about Win911 and it's very SCADA specific. Finally, there's key support articles in our knowledge base on the support knowledge base for Win911 Mobile. All these resources I mentioned and links are available in the comments section of this YouTube video down below. Thank you for watching and we look forward to helping you with your next Win911 mobile application.